passing lanes, concrete barriers, and breathtaking views. It's easy to forget this used to be one of the deadliest highways in BC. So far this year, 13 people have died in accidents on this treacherous road. The Sea to Sky Highway, for years plagued by crashes and rock slides, the recipient of a $600 million Olympic makeover. So there was a lot of unsafe passing, head-on collisions, all kinds of tragedies that were taking place there. So we had to fix that. And the Olympics just gave us a reason to accelerate what needed to be done anyhow. Upgrades that were met with stark opposition. The proposed route cut through Eagle Ridge Bluffs, a sensitive West Vancouver wetland. Residents and environmental activists occupied construction sites. Many were arrested, some even jailed. This is the backyard, not just of West Vancouverites, but the whole Lower Mainland. Pamela Goldsmith-Jones was elected mayor after she spoke out against the project. She says the protests helped save a swath of wetland near White Lake. The municipality has since adopted stricter bylaws for new developments. Now, through processes that we put in place, the streams come first, the trees come first, and development will be, we will try to put on small of a footprint as possible. The project was completed in 2009, and since then, the rate of serious crashes has dropped by about 20%, but the total number of drivers has swelled. There's more than 16,000 commuters between Whistler and West Vancouver each day. But now we see that highway with the tourism traffic and commuters on busy weekends, it starts to fail. Like we get bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper traffic in a few spots where it is still narrow. Squamish Mayor Karen Elliott says it's made her community a more desirable place to live, even for people who work in Metro Vancouver. It's brought some big city problems for our community that we're grappling with. So the cost of housing, um, it went up very quickly. Uh, our vacancy rate has been near zero since 2015. The road more traveled, a legacy that, just like these rolling hills, has ups and downs. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.